Did you know we've been using wind power for thousands of years? Centuries ago, we used wind to crush grain and pump water. Now we use it for electricity. Hi there, I'm Shauna with the Governor's Office of Energy Development. I'm here to talk to you about wind energy. So what is wind energy? Wind is caused by the heat from the sun and the rotation of Earth. Think about those cool pictures of Earth from space. Can you see all those white swirls? Those are clouds made by wind. Okay, so back to Earth. The heat from the sun heats the land below, and the land warms the air above it. The air molecules move faster and faster, spreading further out and becoming lighter. This allows cold air to come in and push that warm air up. This movement goes around and around, making wind that's spun around even more by the turning of the Earth. Today we use wind turbines to generate electricity. When the wind blows, the blades rotate, and that turns a turbine in here that generates electricity. Electricity from wind is becoming a larger and fast-growing market in the United States and worldwide. Along with wind energy being generated from turbines like these on land, we're now even seeing some projects in the ocean. In Utah, wind makes up about a quarter of electricity from renewable energy. So now that you know a little bit about wind energy, let's try our own project. We're going to create our own pinwheel, just like that, to understand how wind energy works. For this activity, you'll need a computer with internet access and a printer in order to print copies of the pinwheel template. You'll also need a pencil with an intact eraser, a pair of scissors, and you'll need straight pins or thumbtacks for each student, and please be careful. So we're building a pinwheel that will work just like a wind turbine. Take your template, cut along line A on the bottom, then remove that piece of paper. You'll end up with something that looks like this. Then from each corner, cut along the dotted line to where it ends. And please be sure to stop cutting once the dotted line ends. Gather and fold each corner where the number is located, just like here, and bring it to the center number five. Now, very carefully, push the straight pin through the middle of the pinwheel. Now, we're gonna take that straight pin and push it into the eraser. And please be careful, don't stick yourself. If you wanna try an experiment at home, sharpen your pencil and plant it in your yard to see how often the wind blows. Enjoy your pinwheel and thanks for watching. You can find this lesson plan and more on our website at energy.utah.gov.